side. All that I'm showing you is that what you can do is now there is a setup required for this Visual Studio Code interface. You have to set up to link it to, let's say, your Azure. So you have to enable it to work with your Azure subscription, which is the actual that benefit that you get as part of Microsoft and the student discount. So all that setup needs to be done. I have done it on purpose because out here, what we wanted to show you was the concept of, let's say, how do you host this? So all I need to do is I will just save this and I will need to create a repository in GitHub. We will talk about that also. I already have a repo in GitHub. I created a repo. Again, let me just show you how you can create a repo. Now, just like I created this, let's say portal.azure.com login, there is a login that you create on. So this is also free to you. You are getting a, some kind of a benefit as part of GitHub also, because this is also Microsoft product now and they have given you what is called a student pack. You should be taking advantage of it. We will talk about it if you have any questions on it. And in general, you need to create a user on it. So in general, it's a very similar experience like Gmail. So all you need to do is once you have your pack activated and all, you need to sign in and practically you will reach this kind of a page. This is a place, this is you can think of like an online repository of your source code. This is one of the primary ways by which you will be sharing your FRT project also because you will need to write some kind of a code to activate your surveys or whatever. So in general, creating a new repository for your project is as simple as looking for this new button, clicking on it, giving it a name like let's say FRT project for whatever, describe it in some name, let's say for AI or something. You should be describing it in a good name and you just need to do create repository. On purpose, I'm not showing them in much details because there is a learning program that you need to undergo anyway to understand Git, GitHub kind of a thing because this is the main source code management tool. So basically, once you learn it, it's like very, very easy to use. On purpose out here, I have already set that also up. So I will just show you with the help of, let's say something like this code which is again the similar code that I have. All I will need to do is push this code from here. OK, so I just need to go into this GitHub. I have already pushed this code and this is available as a website. OK, so let me first share this and then I will change it in front of you right now just to show you. So let's say. You see, this is the site that I have, I will share this with all of you. OK, so right now if you will try to open it, this will get opened exactly the same way for all of you. Now let's say if I wanted to change something here. OK, so what I will do is I will try to do some changes here and let's try to see what happens. OK, so as I promised that we will do some changes and in the real time you will see this getting through. So let's say the header seems to be too big, so I'm changing this small size again what change I'm doing is irrelevant but technically let's say I'm doing this as header four this is also as header four and let's make it instead of 14 let's make it 1630 okay more like the army kind of a time so let's say I make this so basically let's say I want to do some change welcome to project guidance session let's say new version site or something new so I will show you with help of this tool how easy it becomes. All I need to do is let's say save this file with a file save button in this IDE and I just need to remember this is already linked to my GitHub which is already linked to my Azure. All I need to do is commit these changes or push these changes to GitHub. So let's say I will do updated. The moment I do this and I say sync changes it is sending it to the GitHub. Let me show you what has it sent in the GitHub. So let's try to look at the same file in GitHub. The index.html has it changed. You see it got changed. Welcome to project guidance session new and it is 1630 and date of today. Now the beauty of this solution is that it is using a concept called webhooks which is called GitHub actions and automatically this gets invoked by GitHub and you will see that without me doing anything within seconds, 
very soon you will see this will change to welcome to project guidance session new and this will change to 1630. You already have a link, but I will not even share the new link. All I need to do is just wait here and remember it takes some time to get it deployed, but mo mostly this was just to show you again guys. Let me just try to show you what all I have done here. OK, so there is it's it looks very simple and technically speaking it is simple, but yes, there is a setup required. So let me do some whiteboarding just to make you aware how many things are involved here. So let's say if I'm able to work with a white, let me pull this. OK, so. Fine, let's see. OK, so. What I have used till now is. Let's say remember it's a combination of so many things. OK, so I think this is not working, so I will try to open a notepad just to give you an idea how many things we have used. OK, so first of all, remember. First, there is a programming language with which you are writing the code for sure that is required based on your problem statement. So for sure we used HTML, but it could be anything like Java, Python and all that popular languages that you have. After that, I took help of an IDE, which is Integrated Development Environment. The popular one, of course, we will we use Visual Studio Code, but there are others like Eclipse or whatever, depending on your programming language. Again, they may or may not have plugins to work with Azure because I chose Visual Studio Code because this is also Microsoft tool. And then up as our remote repo for repository, which means like a folder for our project. There is a local Git installation that you will need because GitHub and Git are like one is remote repository, one is a local software. When you will learn source code management, you will get to know all this. And after that, it is using what is called GitHub Actions, which is more like a webhook functionality. And then in Azure, we have taken help of what is called a static web app or something. It's actually a special kind of a app service which hosts your websites. So with this, Practically everything is coming together and within minutes, let me try to see while we were doing this discussion. Most probably if you will see the code is updated. OK, so let's see. Please try to refresh your page and let me know if you see this new page or not. You see suddenly the website, which whatever the name, it is showing the new text, right? And it is showing the new time. So I hope you got an idea of what is happening here? OK, so a lot of things have gone here to make this demo to the point where it is working so stable as a seamless flow. I'm not saying it is like just a piece of cake. There is a learning curve that you will need to take, but believe me, it's no rocket science. If you will put in your effort and learn these technologies, what cloud is doing as I like this sentence a lot, it says it has democratized the technology. OK, basically, it's a full democracy in IT world now with the cloud. You can do hands on and Microsoft is <coughs> enabling you even further with that student pack for GitHub and uh, Azure subscription to practice it. I would urge you all to take full advantage of this and use it to your advantage. So basically this is what we have done within minutes. We saw there is a website which is up and running. And we also showed that if you do some changes in it using GitHub Actions, how you were able to deploy it. OK, and you have a working website. So I hope it's clear. I will take a pause here. If there's any specific question related to this flow or anything, let me know on chat window or something because I just want to understand is the concept at a high level.